You're now watching The Wash Daily. Today in news, over the weekend, ton of dispensaries were hit very hard with protests because of the George Floyd murder by police officers. Many folks took to the streets in protest, and some of them decided to raid dispensaries for cash and cannabis. 43 dispensaries were hit in LA alone. In Boston, a number of dispensaries were hit. One of them, Pure Oasis, who just opened up weeks before the COVID-19 crisis. It's sad because these guys are just starting out. They had their first opening weekend. It was shut down by coronavirus because the governor of Massachusetts decided to shut down recreational cannabis for adult use. So these guys have really been going through it. And now, to make matters worse, they've been robbed and their store was vandalized. So we hope those cannabis companies to get it together. A lot of these companies don't have access to insurance. They're running on the last pennies they had because they're so expensive to keep themselves in business. And now they have to deal with giant thefts and giant losses of funds and source. I hope people will come together and really support these small businesses. Do what you can to support your local cannabis businesses. Also in news, Another study showing that cannabis is not necessarily so bad for mothers who are pregnant. There was a few studies done showing that cannabis use does not seem to affect pregnant mothers and their pregnancy or their babies. What the studies looked at were states that had legal cannabis use and increased use by people in general and how it related to pregnant mothers, whether or not they had birth defects or issues with a pregnancy. What it shows is that cannabis users don't have any more problems with pregnancies than non-cannabis users. In fact, maybe even less because of the importance of the endocannabinoid system for not only for neonatal care, but for mothers in pregnancy as well. A big part of the problem with their pregnancy is that women aren't able to relax and their bodies don't go into dilation. Cannabis can certainly help people relax without the harmful side effects of a lot of the drugs that might also do a similar thing. Cannabis, however, isn't dangerous and doesn't have any side effects that are potentially fatal or harmful. Back in the 1800s, Sir William Brooke O'Shaughnessy already showed that cannabis was helpful for babies who had epilepsy. This was almost 200 years ago. So we're a little late with it, and it's been purposeful because the pharmaceutical companies don't want you not using pharmaceutical. And the medical industrial complex wants to control you and your pregnancy and your baby. Cannabis is good for mothers, unlike alcohol. Cannabis isn't cigarettes. Cannabis isn't wine. You know, there's been a lot of research showing the importance of the endocannabinoid system for newborns, for mothers in pregnancy, and the importance of the cannabinoids found in breast milk. The studies show that it's not just for food. There's a ton of neurological support that happens with cannabinoids in breast milk. It's great news for moms who are looking for validation when they feel like cannabis isn't bad for them, because it isn't. Also news, Montana has been working really hard for legal cannabis in their state. They have medical marijuana for a long time. They were actually one of the first states to have medicinal marijuana. But through a series of prohibitionist legislators and legislation, they've adopted a situation which is called tethering. With tethering, what it means is that if you want to be a medical cannabis user in Montana, you have to register with one dispensary and you can only go to that dispensary. 33,000 medical marijuana cannabis users in Montana and they've made this situation where it's wildly restricted and controlled. Well, they're going to start untethering. And untethering is great news for most people in, in Montana because it gives them more choice. But it's bad news for some small dispensaries who have been relying on the tethering process to maintain their customer base. These are probably businesses who wouldn't be doing very well if they weren't having people forced to utilize them. The problem with businesses who are being forced to be utilized is that they don't provide very good service, that they're not on the hook to keep you coming back, and they can pretty much do whatever they want. Good thing that's going away, because that's nonsense, and it doesn't support free market activity. The rules of the free market, which dictate the winners and losers, are adversely affected by this kind of legislation, and restriction, and government interference. So now, Montanans, starting on the second, are gonna have the ability to go to any dispensary they want. Prior to COVID-19, the restrictions on amounts, well now the cannabis users in Montana are able to buy the entire month limit at once at any particular dispensary. Some dispensaries feel this might cause a problem where users are going to be depleting the dispensary supplies, but most people feel like that's not gonna be the case. In fact, if they run out of it one dispensary, then they're welcome to go to another dispensary, which is a much better situation than they're currently in. Thanks for watching The Wash Daily.